When there is environments and workplaces, whether it's virtual work environments or uh, like live in person where people are in an office together, it really goes across the board. Regardless of culture or um, time zone or native language, what seems to be the most impactful is when there is this culture of collaboration, when people actually know how to encourage each other, where they get to bring out the best in each other. And it's not one person doing it for everyone else. It's a very reciprocal process. Everyone knows what it feels like to receive encouragement and to give encouragement, to feel the spirit of collaboration where we all are contributing to a common goal um, in our own unique ways, in our own diverse, um, multifaceted ways. What motivates me personally is humanity. I have seen and witnessed and been the recipient of the most extraordinary acts of service, of selflessness, of inclusion, of welcoming. And whenever we have moments where we are among people who help us trust ourselves to see that innately we have gems of inestimable value and things that we can actually polish and refine and reflect even more goodness into the world. So I would say the thing that motivates me the most is when human beings individually and collectively learn how to trust themselves, to trust their innate goodness and trust processes that help them express those gems um, in, in ways that actually not only help them, but also help others. Um, so I would say a big part of it is trust. Trust motivates me. I would say hands down, what makes a meaningful career is when you're able to lead your life from a place of service. So being in a full posture of joyful service that impacts others, uh, quality of life in meaningful ways, but also helps you stay in tune with your own instruments, stay in tune with your own vision, your own values and your own voice. Um, and the research I've been doing for now 20 years consistently shows that when people are able to have some type of service in their work that impacts others, but they actually experience joy in the process of service, um, it helps them maintain this integrity where again, they trust themselves, they develop confidence and the, the joy ripple is very connected to the impact ripple. And, um, they seem to really be very united and inter interwoven with each other, impact, integrity, and joy. I always love learning what lights people up, what is their most joyful expression of their, their innate gifts and talents, what is most um, not only impactful for them, but what allows them to stay as in tune with their own instrument so they can play in harmony with others? How can they actually express all of the multifacets of their own experience and their diversity, inward diversity and external diversity? And how does diversity become a nutrient that uh, actually helps uh, any ecosystem, any environment, any culture to thrive. Another thing that I'd love to, to hear from the participants, what are the things that make you doubt yourself? What fears come up? I call them stress points. Every leadership style has different stress points. They're not weaknesses. They're areas where we can experience a little bit more vulnerability or doubt. Um, I call it the fog. <laughs> things that sort of cloud our vision or uh, don't let us see things quite as clearly. As, as potentially they could be. So um, I always invite questions regarding doubt, fears, struggles, challenges, to name them, to name the challenge so we can claim it and then find meaningful solutions and find a, a very nuanced, thoughtful, conscious um, expression of a solution. Mm -hmm.